Hi everyone, today I'm going to be colouring my hair with this Garnier Nutrice Intense Lilac. I've used this brand before but I've never used this colour, so I'll be interested to see how it turns out. The back of the box has a colour guide to give you an idea on how your hair should turn out. At the moment my hair's dyed red, so I'm expecting this to turn out black with a slight purple tinge. Inside the box we have the developing cream inside the application bottle, the colour cream, the conditioner, gloves and instructions. Inside the instructions it will tell you what you should have in the box and as always with this brand you'll have some money off vouchers for your next purchase. As with all of these instructions it tells you to do an allergy test 48 hours before dyeing your hair. It tells you how to mix it up and apply the hair dye. If you've dyed your hair before, then you'll probably know how to do this, as most home hair dyes work the same. The only difference that I tend to find is that some dyes have to be applied to wet hair and some to dry hair. Personally, I prefer to apply to dry hair because when you put it on wet hair, it can be quite messy and just drip all over the place. Since I've never used this colour before, it's telling me to leave the dye on for 25 minutes, but normally I'll leave it on for 35 just to make sure it's fully developed. As you can see, the back of the box has a section which can be removed. In case you didn't know, you use this to stand the applicator bottle in. And of course, standing the bottle upside down will help you get the most use from the product. Here is my hair before. As you can see, it's red and it really needs washed. I prefer to dye my hair when it's greasy because I feel that the dye sticks to it better. Here's a short video clip to give you a better idea of what my hair looked like when it was clean. And this is that after. This is exactly what I expected my hair to turn out like. Because I put purple over the red, I knew that it wasn't going to come out completely purple, and red always shines through. However, I'm pretty happy with it. Let me know in the comments section what you think. In natural light, you can really see the red shining through. In some cases, I feel as if you can really see the shift between red and purple, as if it's changing colour. Let me know in the comments section what you think. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye!